So I've been hired by Mr. St. Mercy to resolve this dispute and prevent it from going public. Uh, my role as arbitrator is to listen to both sides of the story to help you to reach a satisfactory accord, to be signed by you both. Now, Mr. Neville, as the instigator of this whole affair, does that sound reasonable to you? Can I remind you that I'm the one still being sued, even though it was Mr. Big Shot who screwed us both over? Fancy words for Mr. Suit. That's not even an insult. This is a legal settlement and there's a dress code. You're not Mark Zuckerberg. None of this is relevant, gentlemen. Now, may I remind you that the contract you signed with Mr. St. Mercy clearly states that you are culpable for any legal disputes regarding his intellectual property. His intellectual property? I'm so glad you read through the contract in painstaking detail. Imagine if I was there, what would have happened? Bite me. Gentlemen, please. Where is that snake oil salesman anyway? Mr. St. Mercy was unable to make it today. He sends his apologies. Yeah, of course he does. Now, before we begin, can I get either of you a coffee? Ah, no need. Bought my own. Does he? I don't know. So, I just want to clarify, Mr. Neville. You were claiming to be equal creator of the intellectual property known as land, land of Barry, and that the perch. And that the purchase of the intellectual property rights were made without your knowledge or consent. And uh, that you are owed at least 60%. 60? 60% 60 of what Manticore Management paid your partner. Oh, we're not partners. I'm sorry? We're not partners. But you do live together. It's not like that. Oh, I'm afraid I'm very confused by this whole thing. Don't even ask. Look, it is absolutely pointless suing me because my entire fee got virtually wiped out by Mr. St. Arsehole's percentage. Uh, objection. This isn't a courtroom, Mr. Neville. Oh. Oh, Oscar, would you like to tell your side of the story to start? Perhaps it will help Mr. Neville to see things in a different light. Right! This is Lucius St. Mercy from Manicor Management, talent agency to the stars, and this is your lucky day. Tell me, have you got representation? Sorry, but how did the Hollywood Big Shot stumble upon our shit stack operation? Funny story. I was searching for a Barry Gibb track online. Who the fuck is Barry Gibb? Listen, your videos are hilarious. That Gulliver's one? McGuffins. <laughs> you Brits crack me up. Why don't you hit on over to the airport? Take the next flight out to meet me. Be all right. Don't I need a ticket or something? Don't worry. Just mention my name. And they let you on. I own the airline. A Hollywood agent wanted to put our series on a TV network and you flew out to negotiate yourself. Why didn't you call me? Uh, I tried calling you, but I had the wrong number, right? Those last three digits, they got mixed up and I tried every combination and you were unreachable. I've had the same number for the last six years. It was probably an overseas issue, you know? Makes sense. But why didn't you email me? They don't have email in America. If you what? could both just sign this document, that would bring the matter to a close, and that would be great. Yeah, OK. No, 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 no. I want to hear more of this story. Oh. Listen, Vlad, I told him that comedian is the good kind. I'll call you back. Oscar, you made it. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I got called away to Moldova on last minute business. A bit empty for the middle of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I bought off the restaurant. I hate eating around other people. Sure. 
Good to see you, man. Take a seat. Well, I already... So we got to strike while the iron is hot. I sent your videos around to every major network, and we got an offer from one to make a pilot. What did the others say? Just sign the contract, cash the check, and we go into production next week. Well, where's the contract? Look under your seat. I don't have a pen. Check in your pocket. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a lot of money. And it's all going to you. You are the sole creator of Lana Berry, right? Yes. Great. We'll fly out to LA tonight so you can attend the casting sessions. Well, you're recasting us both. Not that you're not great, you are, but subtitle stuff doesn't go down well on primetime TV. Well, we speak the same language to you, it's just we got different accents. Huh? Look, this is exciting stuff. It's new, it's fresh, and it's exactly what's going to capture the attention of the American public. Sorry, I'm going to stop you there. So let me get this straight. You're telling me the American public wants to watch unoriginal crap, about two morons dicking about spouting inane drivel with no substance or creativity whatsoever. What am I talking about? Of course they do. <laughs> Sign me up. Money. How's it going, Oscar? About as well as our stock portfolio, Barry. Hey, I heard from a reliable source that Napster was going nowhere but up. Where'd you hear that? My friend, who works at Napster. <laughs> Somebody missed the morning train, didn't they? And this is my third time this month. I don't find a decent excuse, the boss is gonna fire me. Aww. Then what will we do for money? You know, you could always get a job. How about you call in a gas leak? <laughs> Done. Everybody's gonna love you for giving them the day off work. Oscar! Uh, who is that? Your boss. What? He came by earlier asking for you. I told him to come back later. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's gonna find out who's the boss. St. Mercy gave me an alternative contract in case this matter remained unresolved. It gives you profit share. Finally. In certain spin-offs from the land of Barry property. Spin-offs? Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. If you just want to sign here, then... <laughs> what spin-offs? The adult entertainment spin-offs, of course. Adult entertainment spin-offs? You just want to sign there. Uh, Manticore Management licensed the property to a company called DP Productions for three pornographic films entitled Laid by Barry, an inspector in pregnancy. Laid by Barry? Laid by Barry, the thing what's... Yeah, what's, okay now. All right. What's the parody title for Hunt for MacGuffin's Gold? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, we're done here. I can't believe you. I didn't give him permission to do that. Unbelievable. We're through. We were never together. You always know the words that cut the deepest, don't you? Fuck off, Barry. <laughs> The contract. Anyone asks, he signed it and then stormed off dramatically. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you.
television. I'll have my assistant meet you at LAX. It's limo service from here on out, baby. <laughs> hey, Dante, where's my damn Frappuccino? <laughs> Agent Balthasar, sir, what an unexpected pleasure. Do you take the bait? Hook, line, and sinker, sir. Mr. Shadow Mask has been pleased with your progress. Anything for the project, sir. Our plans have changed. The Kraktons have been denied parole. And Gavin Pierce has gone missing. You want to get on the next flight to Georgia and leave the cult of sentiments. Thank you. Sir, thank you. But what about Barry and Oscar? It's time to bring the 